Hello, my name is Joe, and I want to welcome you all back to the Joe is Hungry channel, where we do new menu item fast food reviews. Today, I'm heading over to Firehouse Subs to check out their new limited time offer, Prime Rib Steak Sub Sandwich. The Prime Rib Steak Sub is constructed of seared and slow cooked prime rib, melted provolone cheese, caramelized onions, lettuce and tomatoes, garlic mayonnaise and deli mustard, with a pickle spear on the side, all on a toasted sub roll. The meat is cooked up to 12 hours sous vide style, which means it was cooked in a bag in hot water and reheated in the store and served. The sub comes with white wheat and gluten-free bread. I'm going with white bread today because that's just the way I roll. A medium white bread prime rib sub will add 800 calories to your diet profile and cost you a hefty $8.99 before taxes in Georgia. As small as $5.99 and if you want to make it a large, it will drop your net worth to the tune of $13.99. Is that a good deal? We won't know until we do the Joe is Hungry weight test. Now it's time for the moment of the truth and head on over to the drive-thru at Firehouse Subs in Calhoun, Georgia. Thank you to the Firehouse Subs. What can I get for you? Two prime rib subs, medium on white bread. It's gonna be 1924. I've got my prime rib subs. Let's pull around and do the Joe is Hungry temperature test. Prime rib sub number one is 135.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Prime rib sub number two weighs in at 133.5 degrees Fahrenheit. I'd like to see them a good bit warmer than that. I can't say that I'm really surprised, but they fall below the limits and fail the Joe is Hungry temperature test. So now it's time for a closer look and do the Joe is Hungry weight test. Prime rib steak sub number one weighs in at 11.70 ounces. Prime rib steak number two weighs in at 11.30 ounces. You add them up, divide them out, and you come out with an average weight of 11.50 ounces. You do a little more math, you're gonna come up with a high middle of the road, 73 cents an ounce. So now it's time for the Joe is Hungry Big Reveal. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. Well, they look a little bit meager and a little bit short on ingredients. They need to be a little bit more realistic on their advertised photos, but that only leaves one more test, and that would be the Joe is Hungry bite test. So it is bite test, engage. <laughs> hard to bite through, compounded by the fact that it almost has no flavor. They're skimpy on their meat, and for that matter, the rest of the ingredients, especially at this price point. Look at that, there's nothing in there. The mustard's there, but it really doesn't do anything for the sandwich. In total, this is a flavorless, skimpy excuse for a sub that I would be embarrassed to give somebody and take money for. And sadly, I really had my hopes up on this one. Firehouse, what were you thinking? Now it's time to give this thing a score. My scale is one to 10, nine being the best. Anything above nine is a once in a lifetime experience and almost never achieved. Five and down is the slippery slope to food hell. Let's go ahead and give this thing the number that it really deserves. I'm gonna have to go with a 3.7 firehouse. That's embarrassing. That is my number, that is my review, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.